EasyMutt.com. Use code CUTE for 10% off. Stop gambling your money. Go save your money. Get the team you want. Have the fun you want. Link down below of me buying coins off this website step by step. All right, guys, we're back. Wide receiver, tier list, short, and to the point. Hit the like button. Didn't waste your time. I just did best team month that video. Just went live about 15 minutes ago. So check that out. Let's get started here. Wide receivers. All right, guys. Um, Justin Jefferson, we can move into A tier. He didn't have like a crazy X factor or nothing, but man, is he good. He's fast and big enough. He's free. He should be grinding for him. There's no reason not to. Michael Irvin, with <laughs> his X factor um, and his size and speed, he's absolutely wonderful. He gets Yakim. So, yeah, go get him. You're going to love him. You guys, Jamar Chase is not very good. He really isn't. Uh, you're talking about abilities. You're talking about thresholds. Please don't waste your coins on this card. He's good IRL, but not with that card. His next card might be amazing, but not this one. Um, I will say Harold Bay is going to be S tier because he gets an X factor. Yakum, go get him. Six foot two, great, crazy pass, crazy good. You're going to love him. Now, Paul is so small, guys, but obviously the kick returner, you can get him, guys. The kick return ability does help break tackles and that can be a touchdown i get it he's a gadget player you can throw the ball underneath him i get it but just as far as a jump ball you're gonna hate him now i'm gonna move calvin down to a tier now with acceleration guys and speed right now the defense is getting fast it's a little hard but he doesn't get double me you can go get him i love him uh same thing with plaxico burst guys a little outdated uh acceleration is not on his side right now but with plaxico burris guys uh, he's still usable. I would definitely get him on a theme team. But yeah, he's a great option. He's big enough. You can still throw jump balls to him, of course. So, that being said, Chris Collins works at 6'5". He's fast. Uh, he doesn't have no X factor. But man, uh, you can't throw a jump ball to him. He's going to be good. I threw a lot of balls to him in traffic, and he's reliable. So, I don't have anything bad to say about him. I will say he will be good enough to be on your team. Now, when you guys are talking about Tyreek Hill, yeah, he has max speed. I get it. He can take the top off the defense. You know, and I understand, but here's the difference, guys. You're going to want somebody that's more well-rounded with the X Factor and can go get it. Uh, he's definitely going to be that guy. Mike Evans, guys, is going to be A tier. If he had an X Factor, I'd put him S tier. Just remember, guys, that's a big disadvantage if you had Yakim or not. That's the difference here. But 6 foot 5, 98 speed. Yes, don't put nothing on him. Go, just go get him. Throw the ball to him. You're gonna love him. I do. Now, Zay Flowers is nothing special. He's small. This guy's not special. He's gonna go ahead and be a pass. DK Metcalf is gonna be on this list, and he's actually really good because of his X factor. Uh, but yeah, if he missed acceleration, yes. Um, are there better wide receivers? Absolutely. And right now, talking about a Tory Holt, he's a little little just like good at everything great at nothing kind of player and that's that's going to be the problem with him right he's not going to be something super special steve smith is good he's one of my favorite wide receivers in real life but i will say in this game guys he's so small uh can you use him yes man uh being that small is a disadvantage and yeah you can hang on with the ball i threw the ball a lot to him in traffic and he was pretty consistent so i'm not really hating on the guy but yeah there's just this, there's certain things missing on that card for sure. Watson, guys, is absolutely amazing. Six foot four, and he has great speed. So he's gonna be very similar to the Mike Evans in a way, just a, a and smaller. Uh, Pittman doesn't have no great abilities. That's what kind of holds him back. Uh, and McCaffrey, guys, he is huge. He is fast, but he doesn't have no great abilities. Can you use him without abilities? Absolutely, do abilities help? Absolutely. And yeah, he's going to be fast and big. So is Michael Pittman. Pittman's right up there. He's just going to be a downgraded Watson as far as like abilities and feet. So Watson being a step faster, I would definitely go get him. You can move almost Pittman down the B tier because his lack of abilities. And there's guys his size that are faster. So with that being said, I probably will move him down the B tier. Uh, just so you guys remember the difference there is going to be just really being faster. And right now, the defense is so fast. Speed matters so much. All right. And next we got, we're going to go with Braxton. He's small, guys. He's just a downgraded uh, Tyreek Hill, right? Uh, same height, just slower. So, yeah, go ahead and pick up Hill. He doesn't get great because of speed. That's going to be a very short and to the point answer for you. 
And I will say, A.J. Brown is the like definition of mid. He didn't have the best size, didn't have the best abilities or discounts. He's a usable, yes, so they're better. Julio is good, guys. He has good speed, but I wish he had a better X Factor. I wish he had Yakim. He does not. Is he fun to use? Yes. Is he reliable? Absolutely. He's on my team right now, and yeah, he's going to be a guy that's just going to be consistent for you for sure. Now, Keaton Lamb is, man, is he... I'll put him at the end of A tier just because he was actually really reliable for me. Uh, he does get deep elite for one, but just just keep in mind, guys, that there's just so many wide receivers out right now. There's so many good answers in this list, but there's just certain things that divide him, and he doesn't have like a crazy X factor. Axon's almost A tier. We say he is. I'm not going to argue with you. I will say that uh, Lamb was a little more consistent for me in that. Like, it's in graphic in a way, he just had better animations. But you know what, Jackson, after the catch, Juke spin, all that does feel good. So, yeah, he is going to be fine, guys. I'm not hating on the card. He's just, there's better cards right now for sure. And Puka is going to get slaughtered for just for zero. And you know what? That's important. So, a lot of you guys don't use Howard Master, like, on your outside wide receivers. You use it on your slot. So if that's what you, all you do and you have this guy in your slot and you don't have to use AP and he's big enough and he's fast enough, that's fine. But there's guys bigger and faster than him, so just keep that in mind. Now, Drake London's probably my favorite wide receiver in real life right now. I will say, um, but yeah, this guy here is missing stuff. Yeah, he is huge, but he's not even close to being the fastest anymore. He, he basically almost into the slow side. Out. You wait like another week. There's going to be just a big speed difference there. Uh, his best mouth is also not very good. Uh, but yeah, do I like him? Absolutely. Um, I will say he is going to be um, good enough to you, especially on a theme team. I really would suggest you boosting him up. Evo Samuel's nothing special. He's small. Doesn't have no crazy X Factor or abilities. So be careful by him. Sean Johnson's going to be beat here. And. It's good acceleration, guys. Bad acceleration right now is a bad idea because you're trying to make a cut and you make a cut. What are you using? You're using acceleration. And right now, the defense being so fast, he has a hard time getting separation because of that. And a big frame as well. If you guys noticed this year, a big frame does not turn as good as a small frame. And that's the same as last year, of course. But yeah, he's going to be a jump, good jump ball situation. But besides that, I, I really can't recommend it. Brandon's going to be C tier, guys. No discounts. Uh, not elite speed, not elite size. Adams gets Yakim, so he's definitely going to be A tier, guys. Um, yeah, he's just not going to be big enough or fast enough early anymore, I will say. Uh, his speed, you're gonna, if he's on the theme team, I get it. He can be fast enough. But yeah, he definitely does not get the best animations, like in a jump ball situation. I will say that. Jair's going to be B tier. He does double me, but man, he is small. Uh, that's not good. And is he useful? Sure. But are they better? Absolutely. Jennings ain't bad. I think he's a card that slept on because he was on a boring program. Uh, he does get mid zone threat and wide receiver apprentice for zero. Uh, they put separate lead on this card just because they're silly. Uh, I will say that, yeah, he's definitely usable on the one of the best theme teams in the game. But right now, I would, if you're not going to put him on theme team, I'd go ahead and. Skip. Jones does get double me, so it is going to put him in A tier. This is discounts aren't the best, his height ain't the best. Alec, guys, uh, you know what? He gets slot apprentice for zero. So if you want to use that, he's fine, actually. I think he's a card that plays better than his stats. I have no real big issue out of him. He was on my team for a while. Obviously, I sold him off now. It just his speed holds him back a little bit. People on the theme team, I get it. But 95 speed right now is going to be a little bit rough. But if you need that slot apprentice, then he's not a bad option. James is more of a blocker. So if you need a blocker, you move him up to S tier. Um, if not, move him down to B. He gets fan guard, so blocking with him is amazing. So if you just spam the run with O or something every play, go get him. You'll be happy. But yeah, he's definitely missing a better X factor. He's definitely missing break tackle. So after the catch, he does not break any tackles. He does not get great animations. This isn't the biggest, but he's okay, guys. He's actually reliable. He runs crisp routes. He gets good separation. I will say that. So if you're looking for like separation, guys, he's going to be good. Obviously, your jump balls will be Plaxico, right? It depends what you're looking for. Mike Evans overall is a, just a complete monster. Uh, I will say that MBS, I hate his X Factor. I don't like his discounts, but his size and his speed is still good. And this guy here is a monster. He can go get it. I will say that. 
but yeah, guys, uh, depending what you're looking for, uh, you, if you say, okay, I just want the best, I have the most coins, go to, go get go get somebody with the Yakim, guys. Uh, it, it can make a big difference in breaking that tackle. Uh, so these guys here are going to be able to do that. And if you're not going to use an X Factor and you say, I already have all my X Factors on my other positions, then go get Mike Evans. You can move him to S tier if you're not going to use it, right? Uh, because of his speed and his height. And then it just depends what you guys are looking for. Uh, but yeah, that's it for me, guys. I'll see you in the next video. I just did the best team. Mutt, check it out. Have a good day. Over at EasyMutt.com right now, guys, use code Q. Get your 10% off. Stop gambling your money. Save your money. Stop wasting your money. Get the team you want. Get the players you want. Right here, guys. It's so easy. Just do it. And stop wasting your money. Now, if you enjoy NBA 2K24, go to SaveNBAMT.com. Use code Q. Look at these prices for VC. It's absolutely insane. Have a good day. Be kind for no reason.